Hello YouTube, this is Late Six with Late Six Cards and Collectibles. Yeah, I don't do very many collectible uh, videos. In fact, I think I've only done one. I have more stuff. I actually ordered something from uh, Hasbro Pool, so that should be here soon. And I'll, I'll definitely post that. But this is... If you're into gaming at all, this is... Uh, I joined a Kickstarter program for a game that is very much like Baldur's Gate 3. If you know what Baldur's Gate 3 is, it's a turn-based RPG game. Um, Salasa is pretty much a carbon copy of the game. Um, they base their rules just like Dungeons and, uh, off Dungeons and Dragons as well. Uh, rules five, I don't know, it's five point whatever these days, and I don't remember having played D and D for a while. Um, but this game is called Salasta. I, I play it through Steam. I got into the Kickstarter program. Uh, I think I gave them. I can't remember what it, it's been a while. It's been like two years since I actually gave them money for the Kickstarter program. I don't even remember what I gave them. It's like 40 or 50 bucks, and then I turned around and bought this, which just took almost two years for me to get this. I figured they just forgot about me and was just going to keep the money. Um, basically, what this is is a board uh, RPG based on Salasa, so it's basically based off Dungeons & Dragons rules. This is a tabletop game. Um, yeah, my setup isn't the best to actually show this kind of stuff because I'm low budget. But, I mean, basically what it does, I don't even show what it comes with, kind of disappointing. Um, but box contents, we'll just kind of go over this, is Salasa, Ruins of the Adventure Book. Comes with a set of dice, which I have plenty of dice, a battle board, free pre-made character sheets, five monster cards. You can kind of see what it comes with. It's basically just like a D&D &D version. Um, so this game here is on Steam. It is a, uh, it's a party game. It's, um, they, I think... You can get to level 10 or 12. Now, I haven't played it for a little bit, so I'm trying to, I'm kind of waiting for the finished product because every time they update a big update, you cannot play. It's similar to Baldur's Gate 3. After they have a huge update, you, you basically, if you want to play the new content, you got to start over. I just got, you know, tired of starting over, so I'm trying to wait till they get more of a finished game. I think you can get up to level 10 or 12 now. They've added several character classes, new races. Um, they've updated a ton in the game. It's a great game. If you like turn-based RPGs, this is a great game. This here was just something to help support them because they're a small developer and they didn't have the cash. And you can just tell the graphics in the game aren't the greatest, but the gameplay is actually, to me, is as good as Baldur's Gate 3 or possibly better. But Baldur's Gate 3 is a huge project with, you know, Larian Studios. The graphics are phenomenal. It is a phenomenal game, but once again, it's still in its early form. It's not a finished game. Um, Salas is kind of the same. Salas is a little bit further along than Baldur's Gate 3 is. As far as like finished product, I think so. Salas is pretty much in the finished product stage. Um, they're they're continuously updating it. I think it was only a thirty dollar game at the time. I don't know what it is now. Probably isn't much more. And this is USD, of course, American cash. Um, so yeah, it's a fun game. Um, this is just something cool. I thought that I you know could just leave sealed up, and if Salas ends up maybe someday, it's actually might. I doubt it'll be worth anything, but I mean it's something cool. Help support a small developer that puts it's putting out a quality game, but we're just gonna keep it short today. Um, that's that. I mean, you can get. I don't know if any other platform. I'm sure other platforms carry it, but I'm a big Steam guy. I got tons of games bought on Steam. But Baldur's Gate Three is also a very good game, but it's still in early access. Only Act One. You can only get up to level four. So I mean, like I said, every time they have a major update, put they put Bar uh, Bard in the game, and Barbarian was not that long ago. I think they're gonna do uh, Paladin. I think that's going to be the last playable class. I do believe that they are putting every class and race that is in the player's hand, the current player's handbook in the game before it's released. So, anyways, so last is the exact carbon copy of the game, but way further along in development, in my opinion. Awesome game if you like turn-based games. But anyways, we're going to keep it short today. Thanks for joining, and hopefully we can get some optic football here soon so we can rip some on the channel. And if you care to follow me on Instagram, it'll be in the description. Thanks again. We'll catch you in the next one.